Our God and our Father, we are glad for this wonderful morning that Father you've allowed us to be and to be alive. And we are glad because of the joy of salvation in our hearts. We are glad for allowing us to be here. We are glad because God, you've loved us so much. In your presence, God, we are, my Father, Lord, because your grace has allowed us to be. And so, Lord, we are glad for that. And God, as we come before you, God, in this devotional time, I pray our minds and our souls and our hearts be in agreement with what we shall be doing this wonderful morning, even as your blessings continue, God, to be in and through our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome very much for today's devotion, day four. Our focus has been uh, praying for the wellness and the prosperity of our nation, Kenya. And uh, yes, and I'm glad to lead us. Um, uh, God is always concerned that, of course, we, we prosper and, and, and he loves when his children prosper. And we, of course, we prosper in a nation. You know, we prosper in a nation. So uh, Timothy, First Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 2, um, Paul writing to this young man called Timothy says, I urge you then, First of all, that petitions, prayers, and intercessions and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Again, the responsibility of us as believers to continue praying uh, for the peace and, of course, uh, for our leaders and those who are in authority. It is our responsibility for us to do that. Jeremiah 29 verse 7 again uh, says that also seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it because for uh, because if it prospers, you will to you too will prosper. And again, God is the one who had carried these children of Israel into exile. And even as exilees, God still commands them to pray for the prosperity of the city in which they are. And of course, we ourselves we are not into exiles like the children of Israel were. were. So how much more ought we to be responsible to pray for the prosperity of our country? So that's what we shall be focusing on today based on those two scriptures that of course we do know it's a responsibility that God calls us to and of course we continue to pray for, 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 for the kings and all those in authority that we may live peaceful and quiet lives. Shall we pray? Our God and our Father, we come before you, Lord, to offer intercessions before you on behalf of our country, Kenya. God is so good to be born in this country and we are glad to be called Kenyans. Lord, may you be glorified for you designed that God will be born here. And Lord, for that, my Father, we are glad. Lord, I want to pray that God you may remember us as a country. And we want to pray for the prosperity and the well-being and the wellness of this country, King of all the glory. We desire as a people to be in an environment where each and every one of us, oh God, prospers in what God we do. Where God, the, we get to work with our hands and that which you have given us to prosper, oh God, and to become a people who are indeed prosperous, Abba Father. And that God cannot happen unless God we are in a peaceful environment. And Father, we continue to pray for this, oh God, even as, polit uh, as, as heat of politics and elections, my Father, continue on. Lord and my God, you will calm things down. You'll calm the storms of, 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 of politics, my Father, down. That, Lord, we see the prosperity of our country. That, God, we get to see... Um, our generation, oh God, my Father, and even our children, my Father, God, prosper. And even in years to come, we'll be at a place where, God, my Father, our country is prosperous, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We are glad for this, Father, God, you have brought us as a country. Lord, we do know it has taken your hand for us to be. It has taken your hand for us to be. It has taken your hand for us to be where we are, for us to experience the peace we have had, for us to continue to enjoy the moment we have continuously to enjoy 
Lord, may you be glorified. And Father, we continue to pray for this to continue, that God will continue to become, my Father God, a prosperous and a peaceful nation, O oh God, to the glory and to the honor of your name. Father, we do believe there are still brighter days for our country, Kenya. All is not doom, O oh God, because, Father, you're still concerned about our country prospering and moving forward, progressing, Abba, Father, because you're God who is concerned about uh, us prospering and us, my Father God, being a um, multiplying our Father and becoming uh, and fulfilling our, 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 our purpose, oh God. So I pray that God, the potential of Kenya, oh God, as an economic hub in days to come, it shall be realized, oh God. And with this, my Father, we also pray that God, you remember all those who are in authority, all those who are in rulership, Father, that you may grant them wisdom that the policies they make, the laws they make, oh God, will make this country to be prosperous. We make uh, this country, my Father, to invite many, many investors, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We'll make every single one of us, any single, the wealthy, the, the, the middle class, or even my father, the lower class, whoever, my father, that God will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. So may those that, Father, you've given this, these political positions be agents of peace, be agents of change, be agents of progress, be leadership that is looking forward into uh, 200 years to come, that leadership that is visionary that's not just concerned about here and now to the glory and to the honor of your name and we pray that God you shall grant us such leaders that your name be glorified we are glad about father for you continue to carry us through you continue to see uh, yourself glorified in this country so that even that your church continue to grow and to spread the news the good news oh God to continue to share the gospel oh God all to the glory and to the honor of your name so God in regard my father that you are that God we pray for the prosperity of our country. Lord, we do that in humble obedience that your name be glorified now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you very much. Thank you for being part of today's devotion and wherever God has called you and I to be, may we go and may we be prosperous. I'm desperately waiting to be Behold.